Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster. This is Hysteria Valley, our, our, our I normally say budget conscious theme park, but I think we kind of moved away from that. Uh, but this is our realistic theme park, that's what we're going to go for, uh, built here in Planet Coaster. So, um, in the last episode we started building this brand new uh, sort of adventure boat ride, which is just in this little uh, uh, kind of fantasy area just over here. Uh, we started work on the first scene, which is the outdoor area here. We did a little bit of work on the show building, um, and today we're going to do a little bit of work inside uh, to kind of make the, uh, the indoor scenes a little bit better. So we also put in uh, this new flat ride over here, replacing um, a drop tower that we had in before. Uh, but this, I think this fits a little bit nicer in this um, sort of adventure area. And using a lot more of these kind of uh, red rocks around this sort of beachfront, um, yeah, this beachfront area. And this will extend up the back of this building as well. And um, to give this area uh, a cohesive theme. So anyone new to Hysteria Valley, and um, we've also got our main hub area just here, the park entrance. Uh, I've got a pirate area as long, along with a little dock just that way, which is home to the park's currently and only um, wooden coaster. Uh, and, and coaster. <laughs> There's only one in the park uh, for now. Uh, but there probably will be, uh, I'm thinking maybe a junior coaster uh, in this little fantasy area. Um, possibly. I mean, it could take up this little space at the back here, actually. Um, but that's something for another day. For now, we're going to continue work on the harbour boat tours which is currently the name of it that was back when i was going to just have this uh, as a little tour around the lake now it's turned into a bit of a dark ride we might need to change the name of this so um as before if you do have any suggestions for the area please let me know uh, and that's something we'll look into um, down the line uh, but for today if i just jump through here uh, we're going to head inside the show building um, which is just through this section so we put in this little area before so we've got um a plane crash scene just over there, uh, a little friendly hippo here, missed in this little entrance way, and then we're going to start building up some rocks just here to take you inside the show building. Um, so that's what we are going to get cracking with today. Uh, I don't know how much of it will get done, hopefully the majority of this indoor section is quite a big space um, that we're going to put uh, various different scenes in here before it exits out the other side of the rocks just over there. So, uh, before we get into the time lapse, if this is the kind of stuff you're into, so theme parks and simulation games, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do want to enjoy the video, don't forget to give us a big like down below. Um, so, let's uh, jump into today's time lapse of putting in this indoor section.
Well then, we're pretty much done now with our boat ride. Um, so let's have a little look through, and I'll sort of show you what I've done today. So we've done a tiny little bit of work on the station, just to add a few little bits more, uh, little bits of a lighting. Um, we've also added a little bit of lighting around the rock work of the area as well, just to uh, very subtly light it up. So as you're looking at it, you can uh, pinpoint some of the little details. Uh, the same we've done uh, around the outdoor scenes. Um, just around this corner, just very subtle lighting, full up lighting from the bottom, just again pinpointing out uh, some of the little theming pieces. The good thing about this boat ride, it does have the little uh, lamp on the front of it, um, so that kind of acts as a nice um, sort of pathfinding lantern, so it shows you um, pretty much what's in front of you. So it works quite well with a ride like this. So going inside, I'll talk through roughly the kind of uh, angle I'm going for with this. So the idea is you come into this very first room just here um, which is a, a, a basically a cave full of treasures hence we have all these like gems and diamonds and things on here. Uh, a little bit of um, sort of lighting just to indicate there is uh, something a little bit magical about the cave. Um, I, I do need to go back and add some audio in here so I'm, I'm going to add some sort of fancy audio and some cave noises to make this look a little bit, uh, well, make it feel a little bit nicer. Then you go around into this corner here, and um, we've got a few of these fire torches, and this is where we sort of discover a few of the old ruins um, and sort of uh, random pieces from the adventure pack. Very similar to what we did in our adventure dark ride um, a while back, but it suits it quite well just here. Then we come around the corner into the big finale of the indoor section. We have this big fella just looming in the distance. Uh, as the uh, boat comes around the side, he lights up. Again, he's had some audio. And then we've got the big finale explosion just at the end. Before you exit out of the tunnel and back around into the station. So it's not the most exciting of rides. I, I, I completely agree. It's not the longest. Um, but it's good for what I was uh, sort of going for, just to fill this little bit of a space. And I think it's worked out quite well. Um, the building from the inside and the outside kind of works quite well with the rocks. Um, and using the little bits of theme that we put in last time, just just shining through underneath. Um, I think it works quite well as a show building. Uh, and that is generally today's episode, guys. So thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for how we can improve this area, 
um, do let me know um, but what we can do in the next one is expand this area just around the show building just here and try and link up the um, uh, link up this zone and like I say we might put in some kind of fantasy um, maybe like a junior coaster in this section here uh, and I might use some of the actual fantasy pieces so maybe like the witch uh, and that kind of stuff um, to make this area very much a sort of fantasy uh, magical area of the park um, and that's the plan so thank you ever so much guys for watching this video there'll be plenty more from hysteria valley coming very soon and if you haven't done so already check out some of the early videos on the channel to see how we put together the entrance plaza and also the pirate area just over here um, so for now guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already um, but for now guys thank you and i'll see you next time bye